Hey guys, it's Chav. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I have an unboxing video of something we've purchased from Data Blitz. If you're interested to know what we got for this Christmas, then please keep on watching. So as the title suggests, this is an unboxing video of the Nintendo Switch. So, <laughs> it's kind of heavy. I want to take a look. This is what we got for Christmas. This is in the version 2 of Nintendo Switch. It was first released in 2017. That was the version 1. This, itong Switch na hawa ko ngayon is the version 2. We just got it just this year, 2019. So, yung first release was 2017. Then, two years later, ito na yung version 2. Even though, alam na namin na may lalabas na Switch, hindi namin ito kinuha because we prioritized that time. Yung PS4 Pro, that's a 4K gaming. We were so excited to try that. Sakto, nag-release pa ng Final Fantasy 15 to match yung PS4 Pro and may utilize na yung capacity. We also bought a 4K TV. Uh, medyo expensive na to get this console the same year. Uh, pwede sana kayo bumili Nintendo Switch noong 2018 pero we decided to wait a little bit longer. So, 2019, lumabas na yung version 2. The version 2 was first released noong August. Actually, this is not the first uh, Switch na we got. Already bought the first one during release, no August. Pero we decided to get another one, it's December. We na din sila introduce na Switch Lite, yung Nintendo Switch Lite. We decided to get yung version two, kasi it was worth it for the price. Dahil may mga bagong release na uh, games like Pokemon and yung Brigandine. The game that we purchased naman together with this one is yung Zelda. Yeah, we bought Zelda because this one game of the year, 2017. Yes, I think 2017. Kasabay no Switch, ito na yung ito na yung binili namin first game. Ang binili namin kasabay nito is two games. This one is yung kaka-release lang Pokemon Sword and NBA 2K20. So, itong dalawa. For the first comparison, wala na ako yung receipt nung previous na namin binili nung August. I have the receipt for this one. For NBA, 1,560 pesos. Pokemon Sword, it's 2,575 pesos. Cash, 2,575. And then this console, 16,495. We also paid that in cash. My discount na 1,000 pesos yata yun. Before I unbox this, let's talk about first yung mga reasons why ngayon lang kami bumili. That's why we didn't get the version 1 and we opted for the version 2. And ngayon, the dalawa na na console yan. First, the PS4 Pro. Second thing is, upon release noon, way back in 2017, other than Zelda, I don't have any other game na I think our whole family would enjoy playing. Delay muna namin yung pag-purchase but we know na we will buy this naman in the future. Where is it's worth the wait dahil may lumabas na version 2 and mas mal longer na yung battery life. Masusulit mo siya especially. Minamarket na nila the Switch is for those who are gamers on the go. Wala nang time to play at home. So, dadali mo na lang yung console so you can still enjoy on a portable console. Basta when you're outside, you can take this with you. This handheld portable gaming console. Nakatalo ka medal. Of course, it's so worth it. This is just a three-year-old console. I mean, magi three years sa sa twenty twenty. Pero we all know na usually naman six to seven years ang lifespan before sila mag-release ng new versions. Or I mean, ng kapalit nito sa market. It was like yung PS4, iba two thousand fourteen yun first in released and then this 2020 magkakaroon na ng PS5 we're also excited on that uh, for sure we will also purchase the PS5 so for ngayon excited ako to open it para malam ko na to my understanding of Nintendo Switch just wanna share my opinion kasi in my understanding I think Nintendo Switch is parang answer to, to compete to PS4 and Xbox in a way na indirectly hindi din kasi um, in terms ng specs and capacity, parang hindi naman siya magpa-pardon. Malayo siya because it's handheld. 
what I mean to say, this is an alternative option para sa mga hindi naman talaga always at home to play. And overall gaming experience, Nintendo Switch is a good choice. Wala siyang directly nakalaban din. Alam mo yun? PS Vita, I don't think. Alam mo yun? Na comparable silang dalawa. This has its own advantages. If you're a fan of RPG games, may enjoy nyo to. Kasi alam nyo yung RPG games are so long. Hours and hours bago matapos because of the story and the gameplay. So this one is your perfect companion para anywhere you are. Kapag may free time ka, you can just take this out. Continue where you left in your game. So that's just my thoughts on the Nintendo Switch. Hindi ko naman din siya meant i-compare to... Uh, PS4 and sa Xbox kasi it's in a different category. Let me know your opinion. What do you think of Nintendo Switch? We're all excited to enjoy our new gaming console additional to the family and to play yung mga games that we recently bought. So actually, so sa ngayon, we only have three we're interested to play. Just sharing my thoughts. We can now proceed to unboxing this.